Hi everyone, this is Lisa from Cookery Nation. Today we're making easy creamy hummus. And it is so simple, but we have a couple of tricks to make sure that you don't even need to peel your chickpeas and you'll have really creamy hummus. Let's get started with this recipe. Today what we're going to do is make a really easy hummus recipe. And this is by far the creamiest hummus you will come across. The trick is the order in which you add the ingredients and how much you process it for. So today we're using a food processor. You can use a blender as long as it's one of those really high powered ones. A lower powered blender will not work. It'll, it'll still end up quite uh, mealy and chunky. So the key here is have your mise en place prepared because it goes really, really quickly. The first two things we're going to add is our lemon juice and our tahini. So we're going to pop off the top and we're going to dump in our lemon juice and our tahini. Make sure you get every last drop of it. Tahini is actually a sesame paste. Okay, so there we go. We've got that all in there. Now, some people would now add the chickpeas. We're not going to. We're going to process the tahini and the lemon juice. And we're going to process it for about 30 seconds. So we mix the tahini for 30 seconds with the lemon juice and what you'll see is it's a much lighter color and it is nice and smooth. That is the first key to this recipe. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add our other ingredients. We're going to add our garlic and our olive oil and our cumin and our salt. Now we're going to process this again for another 30 seconds, not adding the chickpeas yet. Okay, so we've mixed the flavorings for 30 seconds and again it's incorporated really, really well, and it's really nice and light. So now comes the time for the chickpeas. And what you'll notice is that I have not peeled these chickpeas. They still have the skins on them. There's no need if you follow this technique. So let's dump the chickpeas in, get the lid on, and process this for one minute. Okay, so the chickpeas have been processing for one minute. We're going to have a look. And you can see they're pretty smooth, but they, can, they still have a ways to go. So we're going to process for a full another minute. So that has been our second time at one minute with the chickpeas. So it's a lot smoother. Now the only thing is it's a little bit thick. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of water. I usually end up adding maybe two tablespoons so of water. If you cooked your own chickpeas, you could always substitute the water for some of your cooking liquid from the chickpeas. So all this needs is a 10 second process. Just so... And we just go for 10 seconds so that we can judge to see if we need more water. So, oh, this is looking better. 
but I like it a little bit more. I usually max out at two tablespoons of water. And go for another 10 seconds. There we go. All right, let's have a look. This looks exactly like I want it to look. It's creamy, it's light, and it's really, really smooth. So in order to serve this, this will last in the fridge for three to five days maximum. Okay, to serve, just empty it into a bowl. And I like to add a little bit of olive oil and paprika. And the best way to make it so that your olive oil does not end up just being in one part of the chickpea of the hummus is to just take something and just give it a little bit of a swirl and then you can drizzle some olive oil and it will stay in the nooks and crannies Take a little bit of paprika and just give it a dash. And your hummus is ready to serve. So that's all there was to it. It's really simple and as long as you follow the steps for when to add and when to process, you shouldn't have a problem at all. You'll have really easy creamy hummus. Hope you enjoyed this recipe. Have a look at the recipe on our website and leave any comments either here or on the site. See you next time. Bye-bye.